The word impression is an orthodontic slang term for a dental impression made with an elastic impression material. The dental impression is a negative copy of your mouth. The impression tray is filled with plaster in order to obtain an accurate copy of your mouth, or a model. The dental prosthesis is subsequently produced on the basis of this plaster model. The quality of your dental prosthesis, the marginal tightness, the exact fit, and the height depends on the quality of the impression. Impressions should always be taken with full impression trays seen on the left of the image. As a rule, partial trays, as seen on the right, are not exact because the position of the plaster models cannot be precisely aligned with one another. With a partial tray, the dental technician obtains partial models. These can be swiveled and therefore can't be accurately positioned. The dental prosthesis, shown in blue here, cannot be shaped precisely. A full impression yields complete jaw models and thus a so-called three-point contact. Therefore, the models cannot be swiveled. It is only then that the technician is able to produce an exact fitting dental prosthesis. In order to obtain precise impression margins, the impression material must be able to flow around the teeth margins. This means there can't be any gums, blood, or saliva surrounding the tooth. In order to achieve this, any bleeding must be stopped, for example with a cotter, and the gums must be moved to the side, perhaps with the aid of threads. Only in this way will the technician obtain precise impression margins. A pre-impression, the pink impression material in the image, prevents the teeth from touching the impression tray. This is called push-through. If the impression shimmers through the metallic tray, the impression must be repeated because of push-through. Notice the two arrows marking the spots where the teeth push through. In the case of push-through, the respective tooth is deflected a bit, resulting in an incorrect impression. The dental technician would then inevitably produce an ill-fitting dental prosthesis. A long cutting process and or leaking crown margins would be the consequence. After the preliminary work has been completed, the actual impression is taken. A fine syringe is used to place the impression material at exactly the right spots and the impression material is appropriately distributed with the air blower. Only now is the individualized impression tray filled with impression material inserted into the mouth. It's imperative that the impression remains in the mouth as long as the manufacturer specifies. A precise and careful dentist will always use a stopwatch. You can learn more about this issue in the video entitled Setting Time. Finally, the impression is removed from the patient's mouth, inspected with medical magnifying glasses, packaged and sent to the dental technician. After an appropriate period of time, the technician will pour plaster into the impression. If this period of time is not observed, the impression will become deformed, which, again, can lead to a bad dental prosthesis.